Hi, I'm Sue Mazinga with WebSense Engineering. This short video answers a question that we frequently hear from customers. Thanks, Sue, and I'm Kay Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. This video explains how to upgrade your WebSense V-Series appliance or appliances to version 781. Use the information in this video to upgrade the V-Series appliances shown here. In any of these modes, from any of these versions, Before you begin the upgrade process, it's important to do the following. Make sure that power to the appliance is not interrupted during the entire upgrade. A power failure can corrupt your operating system and software components. Back up your appliance configuration and settings. You'll have the chance to do this at the start of the upgrade process. If you're using an on-box Triton Web Security Manager, migrate to an off-box web security manager. If your appliance has a network agent module that is temporarily disabled, enable or permanently disable it. If you do nothing, it will be permanently disabled. If policy broker and policy database are installed on an off-appliance server, make sure they're upgraded to version 781 and are running. And you should simultaneously upgrade all WebSense services that are installed on the off-box server with Policy Broker and Policy Database. Also, if you are using Web Security without Gateway, make sure your integration mode is one of these supported modes. Note that Cisco PIX is no longer supported on the appliance. If you are upgrading multiple appliances, after identifying the Policy Broker and Policy Database machine and upgrading that machine, you can then move on to upgrading the next appliance, and then the next one, and so forth. For more details about upgrading multiple appliances, see the Deployment and Installation Center. While performing the upgrade involves a number of steps, the main steps are to install a hotfix and then a patch. You'll install the hotfix that goes with your appliance version and then install the patch. The patch contains an RPM file and an IMG file. The hotfix enables you to download and upload these very large patch files. Note that you must install the hotfix before you download or upload the patch files onto the appliance. To get the hotfix, in the Appliance Manager, go to Administration, Patches slash Hotfixes, and the Hotfixes tab. Enter the name of the hotfix for your version to download and install on the appliance. Then, click Find. Make sure it's the right hotfix, then click Download. If you have several appliances and do not want to download the hotfix from WebSense.com multiple times, you can use the Save to Network Location link to copy the downloaded hotfix to a convenient location on your network. This must be done before you install a hotfix. Then, on each subsequent appliance, use the Upload Hotfix Manually button to upload the file from your network to the appliance. When the download is done, the hotfix appears in the table of downloaded hotfixes with the status Ready to Install. Click Install. It's important to note that after the installation finishes, you must restart the appliance manually before proceeding or the hotfix will not be applied. After clicking Install, this warning appears. Click OK to continue. It may take more than five minutes to install the hotfix. If the hotfix installed successfully, you'll see this. After the hotfix is installed, but before downloading the patch, restart the appliance in the Appliance Manager. Go to Status, General. Under Appliance Controller, 
click Restart Appliance. An alert also prompts you to do this. Restarting the appliance takes from 5 to 8 minutes. Click OK to continue. While the appliance is restarting, this message displays. The appliance has successfully restarted when you return to the Appliance Manager logon page. Log back in. To download the upgrade patch, in the Appliance Manager, go to Administration, Patches slash Hotfixes, and the Patches tab. The 781 upgrade patch should be listed in the table of available patches. If it's not, click Check for Patches. You may see security warnings like these as the system tries to run a WebSense application related to uploading the patch. Click Continue. Check I accept the risk and want to run this application, and then click Run. Next, click Download. The time it takes to download the patch depends on your network environment. It could take more than three hours. As an alternative way to get the patch, you can also download the 781 patch from your My WebSense Downloads page and upload it to the appliance. See the Downloads page or the Appliance Upgrade Guide for more information on how to do this. In the Status column, a status bar shows you how the download is progressing. Once the patch is downloaded, it can be saved to a local network location. You can upload the patch to other appliances from the local location by clicking the Upload Patch Manually button. If you upload the patch from a local server to other appliances, select both the RPM file and the IMG file at the same time in the Upload Patch utility. If you try to upload one file at a time, a warning message displays and the upgrade cannot be completed successfully. When the download is done, the patch status becomes Ready to Install. Click Install. Clicking Install first launches a system check to make sure you're set up correctly for the upgrade to succeed. This may take several minutes. The system check looks at things like, was the upgrade hotfix installed and the appliance restarted? Is your policy source running off-box and on version 781? Is your integration mode supported? If all prerequisites are met, you can install the patch or take this opportunity to back up your appliance files to a remote machine by clicking Back Up. We recommend backing up your files at this point. Clicking Back Up brings you here, where you can provide the connection information for the remote machine. You can click Test Connection to test the connection. To perform the backup, click Run Backup Now. When you see the backup has succeeded, click Install Patch. Review and accept the subscription agreement that you have with WebSense. Check I accept this agreement. Then click Continue. This confirmation message tells you that during the upgrade, you'll be logged out of the Appliance Manager and the appliance will restart twice. Confirm that you wish to proceed by clicking OK. The installation involves four steps and can take from 40 to 50 minutes. While the patch is installed, services are unavailable to users. The upgrade is done after the appliance restarts for the second time and when you're returned to the Appliance Manager logon page. To make sure that the upgrade happened, Log on to the Appliance Manager and go to Administration, Patches slash Hotfixes, and the Patches tab. Under Patch History, for version 781, you should see Upgrade Succeeded in the Comments section. But there's more you need to do to ensure that all WebSense components in your network are compatible. You need to upgrade all WebSense components that you haven't already upgraded and which run off the appliance. These may include web and email security log server, transparent identification agents, and the Triton manager. 
If policy broker and policy server are on the same off-box server as the Triton manager, you already upgraded all components on that box earlier. You must perform a number of other post-upgrade activities. Which ones you need to do depend on your appliance configuration. See the Deployment and Installation Center for additional details. We hope you've found this useful. Thanks for watching.